All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our next donation deck of the day, which is going to be Azorius Aggro. So as you can tell, we're playing, you know, basically like one of the tier one decks of the format or, you know, if not tier one, close to it uh, with basically mono white aggro, you know, like we are playing all of our one drops. We've got our 16 one drops, um, then our really powerful three drops with Benelish Marshall, History Benalia. We have Venerate Loxodon, which is awesome. Johnny's really good, you know, so we're just very aggressive. Calling it Azorius because we're barely splashing just a tad bit of blue uh, for some sideboard counter magic. We've got the Spell Pierce, a couple Disdainful Stroke, and a couple Negate, uh, as well as an Island, I guess, whenever we bring all of those in uh, for a ninth blue mana source. So uh, that'll be, uh, so we'll see how it, that works out. So basically, you know, we're trying to get ahead on the battlefield, get a lot of creatures out there. Usually, control decks are going to need sweepers to uh, catch up. You know, we're looking at them playing like Cry of the Carnarium, Kaya's Wrath, uh, that kind of stuff. And if we can just get a well-timed counterspell for one of those, we should hopefully be able to take it home. So, there we go. Azorius Aggro. Uh, let's see how we do with a pretty popular and... Um, Highly played and very good deck. <laughs> I say as we promptly O2. Hope we get to spell pierce a wilderness reclamation. Yeah, Hawkeye, you help you helping me type? Um, what do we just play? Simic Elves. It is actually kind of sim... Like, our, our deck that we're playing here is actually kind of similar to the Simic Elves. Like, where we have aggressive start backed up by counter magic. Except for our counters are, of course, in the board. We don't have the... I'll keep that. We don't have the Frilled Mystics in the main. With Chance for Glory... Well, Mir, sir, we actually had a donation for a deck like that um, that I'm going to be playing tomorrow. It's a I'm playing a Boros aggro deck that has a chance for glory in it, um, that has like a, a good amount of pump spells and stuff. I actually have a deck like that on the on the donation queue tomorrow. All right, divination jade light. I would not be surprised if my opponent uh, trades. Uh, Dan asked, do you have any tips for best of three? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Be tips for just best of three kind of in general. Consistency is usually valued a little highly in, in best of three than in best of one. You don't have the uh, um, the algorithm that kind of helps you fix your hand. This is not good. Not good for us. Wait, go lands. You you played against the Nexus deck fifteen matches in a row. How's that even possible? Fifteen matches in a row. A pretty slow start here with our mulligan. And Hostage Taker is, you know, very, very good. 
Four Tiller Baffling and doesn't get to take it. And, you know, it's just a two for one. Removing our Tithe Taker and putting it on their side of the battlefield. Yeah, Nexus, Nexus Gates, Teamer Nexus. Bant Nexus. 15 times in a row. That is crazy. Come, I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Yeah, Viv Vivian must have been there with you. She just said that she went through hell. This game's very over. Guess I'm attacking out and flipping Adanto and seeing what happens. So they didn't want their 2 3 hostage taker to block my 2 2. Can heal. You can't stop nature. Yeah, I, mean, I think you can you can build Sultai that beats Reclamation. Um, in particular, like our, our Sultai Sanity deck that we played. Um, we you know go through the decks, look for Sultai Sanity, or you know you can find the YouTube video. That deck is really, really good against Reclamation. You know, if you see the YouTube video of us, we played against Reclamation there, and I, I don't know if Reclamation can basically ever win that, you know, like, it's, it's obviously they will, just because of variant some, but that's, that deck is, like, geared towards. Um, Reclamation. Uh, let's see. So obviously the Takali Honor Guards are coming in. Do I really want Baffling? Like, I don't like how Baffling End doesn't get to target Hostage Taker. I kind of want this Unbreakable Formation to protect my Takali Honor Guard, honestly. They could have Contempt, though. I think a Johnny should come in whenever I'm bringing in Honor Guard. A Disdainful Stroke's a good option for Finality. Hostage Taker, Vivian. They have Ritual of Set. Yeah, I mean, I like that card. Contempt, it's true. So I think we cut down on... I don't even know if we need Baffling Ends, honestly. I don't know, I guess Baffling Ends are good if we don't have Honor Guard. Hmm. I get rid of Benelish Marshal. Oh, Tribunal. Alright, Tribunal's out. That gets us 63. And I can I can definitely trim one of our one drops. Which I kinda think Donald's bodyguards are worse one drop. I need this extra basic. Where's my land? Alright, my land's just disappeared from my sideboard. I need that extra land. I think I just upped my curve and I wanted that extra land. But we ri we're running out of time. I had to hit submit. Ugh, I need that extra land. Wrong two drop deck. We need Honor Guard, not Tithe Taker. Wrong two drop. <laughs> Thanks, Super. Yeah, Hawkeye's the best. Alright, you wanna go up there? Um.
We better not have Cry of the Carnarium. But after mulling to six, I'm just trying to be as aggressive as possible. You know, like, we're not going to win a late game against Sultai. I I don't think I can sit, sit around and play around Cry of the Carnarium. They had it. Because, you know, they have, like, what, maybe maybe two in the sideboard? You know, so they have, like, zero to two, depending on the person. Like myself, I don't... I would not play Cry of the Carnarium, like, in my Sultai deck, for example. So, like, depending on the person, they could have zero to two. But our person had it there. I don't think that... I wouldn't play Golden Demise either. I just don't think you need either of those cards. So I wasn't playing around it. After we mulligan there. Just move on to the next game. That was a lost cause. Yeah, that was a feel, feels bad. Attack. All right, the Fountain of Renewal Dawn of Hope combo deck. This is basically just all going to come down to if they have uh, Cleansing Nova or not. And play around Cleansing Nova by not putting more things on the battlefield. Okay. Um, I do want to flip landing. The most powerful play is just playing out my hand. I'll go for that. I don't think they'll have Cleansing Nova. Could be famous last words. I guess I'll split the difference. I won't put counters on these things, but we'll at least flip the landing. And then just have Luxodon grow these things. Will that kind of block? It certainly feels like a Cleansing Nova. Not showing my opponent a ton of respect here. By throwing out that un not too necessary Venerate Luxodon. The Settle does cost 5 mana because of Tithe Taker. This isn't like that great of an attack against Dawn of Hope. They'd get to just make a token and chump block and stay alive. But it's hard for us to have lethal um, against that. We'd have to kind of attack with everything. Because they, they gain their life, they go to uh, 6 here. So even if I just attacked with Tithe Taker and this 2-2 also, that wouldn't have been lethal. We would have we had to attack with everything.
Yeah, this is a Selesnia control deck. They're playing against Reclamation and Donifope are very, very good uh, together. Ooh, you're thinking Angel of Grace? That's a good prediction. All right, attack. This is what, four out of five matches now against Reclamation. Is that right? I mean, it's four out of six. Swarm. All right, some more chump blocking. Can we ever get through that those last points of damage? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Is this thing lifelink? Ugh, makes it even harder to get through. So if they, okay, so they're at 10. No, that's a lifelink too. So they're at 11. If I attack out and they block, if I attack out, they block 5, 5, 5. They take 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, they'll take lethal. Alright, going to game two. Do we have disenchants? We do not. We got negate. And spell pierce. Do I need to like... I mean, I can take out the two baffling ends. Um... I don't know if I really need a sideboard that much here. Let's get this unbreakable formation in here as well. I kind of like Conclave Tribunal. Maybe I don't need it. I need a Johnny. Len with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Len. Welcome to the channel. That is sub number seven on the day.
Um, okay, one tribunal. And a second tribunal or the Ajani? Which one of these two am I cutting? Probably a second tribunal. I think I like the one Ajani. Never know, we can ultimate that Ajani or something like that. Okay, making the Simic Elves YouTube thumbnail. Snap keep. I'll take it. A Johnny's welcome. Don't think that's going to save our opponent. I think if we're killing our opponent, it's going to be by... A lot more than the few life that that gets to gain them. <laughs> Sneep. Alright, what do you do? Can't cast spells from graveyards. When a creature dies, you gain a life. I... We're both chilling on two lands. They found land number three. But so did I. Yeah, I went with landing over the bodyguard so the bodyguard could pr protect something later. Um, we've seen them play, you know, sapling migration and things like that, like where they just can play like some one ones that, that just kind of kill the bodyguard. I guess I should make this thing a 2-2. Two -two. Ah! Alright, next turn we're going to be attacking for a whole lot. They got to draw their fourth land and have settle. <laughs> Elephant Jesus. So they gain two life with two creatures dying. All right, I have Tithe Taker. Yeah, Settle's not going to do very much. Yeah, I don't really know what they can have. I think they're just going to be dead here. Get a couple life linkers. Maybe they can chump block enough. So they uh, go to 16, they go block block, they take uh, 5, 6, 8, 12, 16. Okay. 
I take very lethal. All right, one on one. Goldfish is really good uh, for getting lists. It's it's my preferred website for getting deck lists. <laughs> yeah, at that point, it didn't matter how our opponent blocked. They blocked the two biggest things. They're still taking enough damage there. All right, here we go. Ugh. I do like Snubhorn Sentry, but we already have one drop, double one drop. Here on the play, I'm leading with the Aspirant uh, for that extra power. So landing's one less power, but if we draw the land next turn, uh, you know, we get to attack with these three, flip the landing, you know, obviously play the land, play the marshal, attack with these, flip the landing, and then put bodyguard on marshal. That was the plan. Plan didn't work. Um, do I want to go vanguard? Or marshal now. I do want this bodyguard to protect the marshal. That's a really good card. One per minute away from making these aspirants flying. I'm not attacking with them. I don't want to trade an, an oligarch for an aspirant. Gonna wait till next turn where we can make a permanent with Adanto the first fort. And just fly over the top. I'm not gonna attack with. Ooh. Hmm. So I'm certainly just going to be attacking for six in the air with the aspirants. Uh, do I baffling end a hero? Or just make a 1 1? I guess I baffling end a hero. So the problem with attacking with Vanguard is they they get to block with you know Tithe Taker or, or Oligarch and get to make a make a one one afterlife token. Um, Dang. All right, draw Conclave Tribunal. 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 It's a rough spot.
Hmm. Magic is not easy, is it? So they get three one ones in the air. I'm down to just a three two in the air. We are making lifelink 2-2s two each turn. And... Oh, right. That costs one more because of Tithe Taker. Well, I missed the 2-2 two -two there. Attacking with Aspirin is not going to be a good idea against the, the three things. I guess I could, well, I guess I could save it with the Bodyguard. Then we waste our Bodyguard. Is that a good idea? Use the Bodyguard to take out two Flyers. All they have to do is attack with their oligarch, but I just don't have to block the oligarch. Lethal in four turns. So many turns. A terrible idea. That was that was really bad. So I don't like doing all that attacking stuff. They attack out, I go to one. Really? Never mind. I'm dead. Certainly safer to attack with the two two life linkers. I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair, stay dead. Well they had lethal if they would have just attacked with everything. So we should be dead. But I I really should not have attacked in the air there. That that really cost us letting our opponent kill both our creatures with Mortify there. That just ended up being
pretty bad move, but Kaya is also just insane against us here. I mean, but so is Triple Hero. Please draw a land. Why can't we play a long game when we have a Danto going? So the problem with doing this attack is I'm one mana short of activating a Danto and having Conclave Tribunal. At the time, they only had two heroes in play. My Adanto makes 2-2. Two, two. And it's not like they have infinite spells, but I have infinite Adanto activations. Really wish I could have attacked with the Adanta Vanguard also. I'm gone for now, but not forever. So we still gotta get rid of these heroes and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna start, you know, attacking them. They're at four. I guess they're at four. I could have just attacked them with the Luxodon. They still chump block either way. Oh no. Oh my gosh, what a draw. What a killer. What a killer. What a killer. You're not welcome here anymore. Still in it. We're not dead. Vivian? I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. That's not good. I could still refill their hand all the time. Uh, sure. <laughs> get that. I'd rather out of them here. just get a, a three three than tick up and find, you know, like an Imperials Imperious oligarch that makes like three one ones and a two one. Not on my That's a good play watch. with Kaya. That's what they should have done last time instead of ticking up Kaya. It doesn't matter. They're just like chumping these things.
All right, I threw away that two two. I guess I was not gonna attack with the two two. Come to me. A little frustrated. <laughs> yeah. Can we get my creatures trample? Good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna mill them out. They'll they'll ultimate their planeswalkers and stuff and kill me before they mill out. You attack there, you attack there. You attack there, and you attack there. The wilds are my shield. <laughs> That's all right, King Toll. Yeah, our opponent had a few real good draws in a row there. Assassin's Trophy, then Vivian. I have to send those away. The smell, ew. That Assassin's Trophy in particular. Kaya plus three. One ones. Um, I'd recommend playing Grix's discard in best of three. I've never played it in best of one. I, I don't know how it'll, it would do. Could do just fine. I don't know. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty interesting to be able to... I think it'll be pretty... Tristani's... That's game. I think uh, War of the Spark will be pretty interesting to see how, like, the, the Planeswalkers work and everything. Um, planeswalkers are usually quite a bit of fun, and uh, I think it could be uh, pretty cool. I wouldn't expect all of them to be rare. I I could certainly see common and uncommon planeswalkers. I don't do the ring stuff. All right, getting all the baffling ends in for those heroes. Hero is like the only card that killed us there. Yeah, so what do we, so we saw yeah, you know, like what Takal, what's Takali Honor Guard doing? I mean Knight of Autumn and Tristani. I don't think they had anything else. It doesn't stop hero, doesn't I don't think Takali Honor Guard's really here.
play one negate over the Adanta Vanguard. I don't like the Tribunals. Then we saw Mortify, Knight of Autumn, Vivian. Uh, baffling end, they get back a 3-3. And, you know, that, that trading um, a Baffling end for a hero and a 3-3 is reasonable. All right, another mulligan. Even the Legion's landing is questionable. Uh, doing it because flipping it would be uh, so, so good for us. We saw like that last game. Yeah, they had the three heroes early. I missed I missed making a token one turn, and that really hurt us, I think. I think if I had, you know, an extra token from, you know, ten turns before, it could have been very good for us. Alright, so they were... Real worried about that Legion's landing. Uh, it is the first time that I've played Azorius aggro. I've played Mono White a good amount. I haven't played it with counter spells before. So we're at seven permanents. Even if we play two, we're not getting to. We're not getting to ten. Playing the two does allow us to have a bodyguard protect Marshall uh, in case of a ritual of set next turn. Because I feel like ritual of set's going to be like the only thing that kills us. Block is certainly attending, or like certainly saying they want a ritual of sets. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's probably just their best block. Uh, they could take out the two two. I could see them having set after board, with like the planeswalkers and you know having. Um, Cards like Trophy, Mortify, I could see them going to a control role like that. The hardest part about playing aggro decks in general, uh, winning whenever you don't have a great opening seven. Aggro decks, you know, like when you have like an awesome opening seven and you get to like, you know, play on your curve and everything, it's not too difficult. But there's a lot of times with aggro decks where uh, getting through the last five points of damage is uh, difficult. Um, I mean, Aspirant makes my curve better. But I, I want to get to this four lands for a Johnny. That's definitely the hardest part about aggro decks is getting the most out of all of your cards. Getting the most like damage output. Our opponent's deck's kind of like built to play against ours with all these oligarchs and tithe takers and everything. Kaya. We really have a deck that's just built to beat our deck. Here's what happens when you I can get rid of anything, living or dead. We just can't even get a land. This is for 
frustrating. Yeah, we're we're in game three right now. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, really need to land. Really need land. I hope you said your goodbyes already. I brought in the Ajani's. I should have put in the extra land. That extra... This arena... Like, I forgot that I had an extra land in my sideboard because it disappears for some reason in this arena. Um, I don't know what the right word is. Layout. Here's what happens when you die. Yeah, the, the filters. Forgot I had a land in my deck. Hey, CEO. This has been such a frustrating match. Game one and game three. Bad rubbish. All right, we're down to ten. Good news is they only have one card in hand. They don't have instant speed removal here. They have to chump block the bodyguard. Please don't have an instant speed removal. Would have been a little safer to play a Johnny and tick up. It's going a little greedy there by playing the other creature to be able to have the second creature on the battlefield or if like kaya would uh just minus and get rid of my my creature after the chump block no each funky each each individual one of these is a goal for a 12-hour stream just had to hit one of those So we're getting, we are around 70 or 80 YouTube subscribers away. We're getting close there. Uh, only two more people get a new toothbrush there on Quip. Away. I understand you'll be strong. Okay, we're finally doing stuff. We are finally doing stuff.
yeah, those are those are referral go goals. Those are uh, three sponsor companies. Uh, you can find information down down below in the info panel about each one. Was that dear to you? Um, I'm doing extra incentive, you know, have extra incentive for people using my referral links and signing up. Strength is for born them. Of struggle. Um, if you make a purchase with Quip or Movement, you get a free donation deck. Like this is a donation deck. You know, if you want to see your deck played on stream. Harry's razor is only three dollars to get a brand new razor. I am dead, aren't I? Yeah, I'm dead. Kaya ult will put me down to one, and then this thing kills me. So that's really unfortunate. Johnny Popeye though is gifting out five subs to the channel, increasing the hype here in the channel. Thank you so much, Johnny. Could use that after. After Sometimes these couple of games here. So, uh, Grom Biggle, Rock Mike, AB Fall, Bolt, and Setchu. All getting those tier one subs. Hope you all enjoy all the emotes. All right, so that puts us to 12, gets us to our first sub goal of the day. That's kind of mean. So with uh, getting to 12 subscribers on the day, um, that means we're going to be cracking a pack open. So let's get our M19 pack. Yeah, no deputy. I didn't. I don't know if I really missed having deputy. Our opponent just had so much removal and everything. I'm actually kind of not a, a big fan of um, uh, deputy, to be honest. Ooh, a desecrated tomb. There was a time where I was, um, but then. Where's this? I don't know. These days. Not so, not so big on deputy these days. Um, all right, Hawkeye, what do you think of our deck? So, like, whenever we bring in the extra Johnnies, I probably should be bringing in the island too, uh, for how the formatting goes with arena. You know, I just forgot that we had that island in there because it just disappears. You have to like, you know, go search for it and everything. It just automatically uh, gets rid of the basic lands. Um, but I don't know. Our deck isn't so bad. The just had like some frustrating games there. Uh, again, Soul Tide, we got crushed. Uh, but we, you know, had a couple of mulligans and our opponent had Cry of the Carnarium kind of stuff. We're playing blue for some counter magic. I think our deck's pretty good. But it is... Aggro decks like this um, can be high variance. You know, you can go through some times where your your decks uh, um, kind of unbeatable, and then go through some times where you just have some really bad hands. So the variance of having such a, a low land count. There's only 20 lands in this deck. It's just such a low land count. You know, you'll have like your variance like that. Um, but yeah, our, our opponent did kind of have like a, a matchup built to be our deck, right? Like they had like really, really good defensive creatures and then planeswalkers that were specifically designed for our deck in mind. Um, so that kind of kind of just happens sometimes. But oh, well. All right. So that was Azorius Aggro. Um, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.